Hi everyone, I am here today to share with you two trifold folios uh, that are autumn themed. Uh, I've been really enjoying making uh, trifold folios uh, and below I have linked for you my little kind of how-to uh, video that I did a little bit uh, earlier in the summer uh, and I wanted to share these with you. So they're both very similar. Uh, I have used different uh, papers on the front, of course different images and slightly different coloring uh, and inside they're they're very similar some of the tags and inserts are the same others are not uh, so let me show you through this one uh, so I have just closed it with uh, a really pretty piece of kind of variegated uh, sari ribbon uh, this really pretty image this is from the graphics fairy this fall image and then I've just um, gathered some sari ribbon here and put a little little bit of trim. I have uh, stitched around uh, all of the outside as well. So let me show you inside. Uh, and so you can see that it is, uh, you can see that it is a trifold um, folio here. And then I've just added um, my uh, envelope here uh, and a signature here. So inside I've used my age tape as I typically do uh, and uh, rusted paper clips and a rusted bulb pin and then I just added lots of uh, trims uh, and in inserts. So in the front uh, I've added a baking paper pocket here and I've collaged all of the backgrounds. Uh, my favorite uh, note stamp uh, in this kind of rusty color on a die. And then I've just made this tag with a little tab for the top and then I've just stamped it October. And in this little glassine envelope, uh, I've just closed it with this little uh, label. And I've forgotten where I got those. I have, uh, there's a whole kind of couple of pages of, you know, fall themed definitions. Uh, and in that, I've got just a few more, so sweater, leaves, harvest, pumpkin, and then I have stamped onto some die cuts October and November, uh, as I thought uh, whoever decides that they would like to purchase this could use this for their uh, Thanksgiving and um, perhaps even their Halloween uh, memories. So on the front uh, of this bag then I've got this really pretty leaf image and that's the same one that I've used on the cover of this. And inside I've just made this uh, journaling card. Um, I'll show you the, the, uh, the signature. I've just added um, uh, tabs. I will list below for you kind of the where I've sourced these papers in case you're interested in uh, taking a look. Uh, on this paper clip I've got this journaling card and then I've made um, this bag that I've added a little bit of trim to and then just a really simple tag uh, for that. And I printed on some vellum here. I've got a vintage doily here. Uh, some craft paper and I've just uh, punched some holes in the side and then just added a little bit of uh, green sari ribbon. Uh, some brown sari ribbon gathered here and a little bit of trim. And then just a tab with some gathered uh, tissue paper there. Now on this side, I have a lace pocket, uh, and then I've added uh, just a floral tag, and this, uh, I guess it's a Thanksgiving um, journaling card, and then this, just this piece of kind of brown wallpaper that I've got in for an extra journaling space. Uh, here I've left the flip. Uh, and then on this side, I have, um, this is a pocket from the Genevieve Designs uh, flip-flop journal ephemera kit. Uh, and then on top of the pocket here, I've just fussy cut out these um, uh, toadstools. And then I've just embossed a tag and added a little bit of sari ribbon at the top. 
uh, here, uh, more sari ribbon gathered, and then I've got a couple of little tags here, and that's um, just a rusted bulb pin. In the center of the signature, I've got uh, a couple of things, this uh, pretty leaf um, journaling card, and then this is just some uh, vintage wallpaper, and I've just reduced it in size uh, to make a journaling card and added a tab. And on this side, just another of those floral uh, tags. Here I've got uh, a patterned tab with a little bit of trim. A really pretty leaf patterned side pocket here. And then I've just embossed a tag here and added a little bit of trim to this tab. And on this side, I have a couple of things. Now, this I have not glued down. I thought whoever decides they would like this could decide to glue it down or not. Um, so I've left it open, and I've got this pretty leaf journaling card. And then this sheet music that I've reduced in size. And the title of this piece is Dance of the Autumn Leaves, late October. Uh, so I thought that was really, really pretty to add in. Another uh, ruffle here with some trim. The other uh, half of the um, craft paper, and I've just done a little bit of stamping. Uh, here I have uh, a glassine bag, and I've just added an image here with some trim and then a really simple uh, journaling card or tag there. And another tab here and a, a pretty sunflower image in um, the, the other half of that bag and then just a postcard there I think that's from the graphics fairy and it is got orange writing on it so for this flip then I've added uh, a little pocket here uh, I've got an apple crisp recipe and then just a journaling card that I've stamped October on and then in the top so this is an envelope that I've added as a flip and then I've got this uh, tag uh, at the top or in the top in the top uh, on the other side typically I add a pocket here and I didn't this time I just kind of like the plain uh, vision of this and certainly whoever decides they'd like this could add a pocket here um, absolutely I've just got another um, reduced in size uh, piece of wallpaper here that I've added as a pocket added a bit of trim and then that's a journaling card from the graphics fairy I just thought everything was very busy back here and that's why I thought I would leave that just a little bit blank and it would be a great place to journal you could put a uh, photo there or something like that uh, or as I say just out of pocket uh, on the inside then I've got another baking paper pocket with some trim uh, and then I've got this really pretty uh, tag and another of the floral tags that I used earlier on and then this pumpkin pie uh, recipe and then I've I've made this envelope uh, very simply uh, and added uh, a gusset uh, to each side so it accordions out and then I've just got a few journaling cards here mostly floral uh, that I thought could be used throughout and then on the center I've got a double pocket in the back I've made this uh, tag that has a couple of layers of sari ribbon and some trim and then in the front here, I have just a few autumn leaves here that I thought would be good to use uh, throughout as you're decorating your journal uh, or just used as little journaling spots as well. And then I've got this die cut that I have stamped uh, with the frame die there and just a little bit of trim there. Um, on the back, I have added this little library pocket. Uh, that talks about autumn uh, and then I have another one of those tags in the back so that is uh, the first 
journal. Uh, the other one, as I mentioned, is very similar. I'm just going to walk through it very quickly uh, for you because you've already seen kind of the setup uh, and you'll be able to um, just see kind of perhaps some of the differences with this one. Uh, so the same things in the front pocket here. You can see I've used the image that I used on the cover of the other journal here on this bag. And then I've just essentially got the same things uh, clipped in throughout. So very autumn colors. Uh, I've got the same things in that pocket that I did in the other. Same pocket. Um, these little tags are slightly different. And you can see that there are some differences in terms of the color of the sari ribbons that I've used throughout, and that's mainly because of the colors on, on the cover images. So the same tags here, same image here and here. I love this combination, beautiful. Uh, and the bag uh, for this one is, is different, uh, just again, given the background pages that I use throughout. Uh, and I should say this, this vintage doily is different. This was the last one that I had, this last large one. So I had to use a slightly smaller one for the other, the other journal. And then I think I've got the same, yes, I've got the same postcard there. This is set up the same, the same tag. Um, again, I've left it blank, uh, still a little bit busy. Uh, this is, um, you know, it may be good with a more solid colored pocket, but again, I'm going to leave that up to whomever decides to purchase this. Uh, and on this side, I've got a slightly different tag, of course, here, um, slightly different trim. Uh, the inserts in this envelope envelope are the same as the other one. This is a different pattern uh, and um, I've got a similar tag in the back and I've got the same. These are slightly different leaves um, for this one uh, but I've got the same um, die cut there and then on the back the same uh, autumn uh, library pocket and that's a slightly different tag. So those are the two um, autumn trifold folios that I have available. Uh, they are listed now in my Etsy shop. Uh, and I really appreciate you taking a look. I think I'm moving on to Christmas projects next. Uh, so I will be back soon, hopefully, with, uh, with some of those projects for you.